So friends, welcome back to our channel, Learn with Gigs. I'm back with another interesting scenario-based question, which can be asked in your Power BI interview. So you should definitely watch this video completely, and you should know how to answer this question. Okay. So as you would have seen from the title or the thumbnail, uh, this question is based on your total YTD. Okay. So let me proceed with the scenario which will be asked, which can be asked by your interviewer. Okay. And before that, if you're new to this channel, if you're watching the video for the first time on this channel, please, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming videos. If you are, if you are seriously preparing for your Power BI interviews, as I can assure you, you won't find the content or the type of videos that I post on this channel anywhere else on YouTube. So I want this channel, a one-stop channel. If you're preparing for your interviews, Power BI interviews, come to this channel, prepare it and then give the interviews. And once you watch all the videos, I can definitely say confidence level will boost up and you will be well prepared for your interviews. Okay, so let's start the scenario and I will take you to the two tables that I'm considering here. One is the sales sample four table and other is the calendar, calendar table. Okay, in the data view tab, if we can see the calendar table looks like this. Uh, just a second. This is the calendar table where we have date, year, month, number, date. So these are some columns in the calendar table as usual that we have. And in the sales sample four table, uh, you can see we have some products, their order date, their sales, their region and their country. Okay. And the order date, you can see we have uh, the last or the latest order date is on 2nd July 2022. Okay. Other are uh, prior to this date. Like the first order date or the sale date happened on 12th January 2022 this year. Now let's move to the scenario. As you can see on the screen, we have a line chart here and we have a total sales and total YTD measure here. Okay. So as you can see, uh, as we have the sales in July 2022, so that's what the sales is showing till July 2022. But, and as you can see here, we have a constant line here. Okay. Now we have, you remember the, the last sale date was on 2nd July. Okay. Now in the report, what we can see here is that if you, if you go to the total sales here, you can see the last sale date is showing as, uh, as you can see, 2nd July 2022. Okay. But now what total year to date is uh, doing it, it, for, it is showing the same 3315 value for all the dates in the July month. Okay. But that is not we want, but that is not the interview word. He wants that whatever is the last sale date or whatever is the last order date, the display of total value D should re be restricted to that particular value only. So how to achieve this scenario? So that is the question which will be asked how you will be restricting your total Y D or even if you are calculating other Q T D or M T D also, I'm not getting into that. But if we, if I talk about total year to date, how will you restrict this to the last sale date that is on uh, 2nd July 2022. Let me also show you the total sales and total year to date measure that I have created here in uh, this table sales sample four. So as you can see here, total sales is just a simple uh, sum of the sales value. And if I go to the total year to date measure, you can see uh, if I can, if I can zoom it. So it is a simple measure where I have made use of total year to date function here. Inside that, the expression that I have given is total sales, which was the another measure that I created. And the second argument is the date column. Okay, so dates, that is what the total year to date function takes as the second argument. So this is a simple total year to date measure. Now we should, now we have to create another measure so that we can restrict this total year to date to the last order date. Okay, so let's, let us create that measure first. And let's see. Okay, so I will mark this as uh, total year to date restricted. Okay, now I will make use of variable here. Variable, uh, I will mark it as maximum of maximum of order date. Okay, maximum of order is equal to max of function. We will make it some max function here and we'll include the order date column. Okay. Order date column from the sales sample four table, which we are considering it here. Close the bracket here. Now let's move to the second variable, which will create here. And this will be uh, total year to date 
restricted okay so here what we will do here we will make use of uh, total a to date function only that we uh, used it last time okay and inside that the total sales measure okay because we have to restrict as per the total sales only the second argument will give it as the date column from calendar table so the same we will give here now comes the third argument which is optional in the total year to date function and that is what we have to make use of so here what i will do i will make use of this date column again okay which is uh, calendar table date column then less than equal to this maximum order date variable that we have created okay now let us return this okay let me close the bracket over here that's why it is showing error now return this last variable okay total year to date restricted so what you can see here i have made use of third argument which is quite often ignored in this total year to date function okay in this third argument only i have made use of this a date column and and i have restricted it to the maximum order date which i have calculated here with with, it, with the maximum function which will give me the la latest or the last or the maximum order date and now let's see how this measure reacts so no error is there in this measure so that is good now let's see how does it show it here are we getting the right answer or not now let me remove this total year to date and put that newly added uh, measure that is uh, total year to date restricted now you can see this is being restricted as you can see here the last uh, date for year to date measure also it is 2nd july 2022 and that is what it was needed from the interviewer so i hope you got the explanation and it was quite simple to do but if it is asked to you in the interview in the coming time then definitely you will be able to answer it now if you have watched this video completely okay so that's it for this video please share the video with all your friends and colleagues whoever are preparing for the interviews or will be preparing for the interviews and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you